G'day, it's Michael Guest here, just in the shed getting sorted and ready to go and do some more filming for real action. And if you've seen the show this year, you would have seen this one. One of the stars of the show, and this is the Stacer 579 Crossfire. What a fantastic boat it is. We've had it in river systems, estuaries, and offshore, catching some amazing fish so far. And I think you have lucky boats uh, when you go fishing at times, whether it's your mate's boat or your own boat. In this case, this one's been really cool for me so far with some great captures. Fantastically tough and strong boat, and uh, Stace is famous for those Evo hulls, uh, three mil sides, four mil bottom, so solid, robust construction. Whether you're, whether you're sliding it up onto the gravel at the boat ramp, or you've got a beach launch and you've got to punch over some waves, uh, the hull design is just fantastic. The big thing about the Crossfire, and, and why the Crossfire has been such a popular boat, is it covers off a few things as far as the family goes as well. I've got a removable casting platform up the front, so I can stand up the front and, uh, and cast a few laws around and really do what I need to do from a fishing point of view. But then I can slide the cushions in. You can take, uh, you can take the wife and the kids out. And you can have the wife sitting there reading the book if she's not into fishing while you're doing a bit down the back here as well. So that crossfire really means that it's a bit of a crossover boat, not only for you as a fisherman, but for the family as well. The 579 Crossfire has a minimum horsepower rating of 90 horsepower and a max of 150 horsepower. And you guessed it, Michael Guest has got 150 horsepower sitting on the back of his Crossfire. That's the rally driver in me. And this boat performs so well with this new V6 G2 150 HO engine on the back. Uh, four blade stainless steel propeller. So I've got fantastic grip and, uh, and traction through the bends and the corners. And that's really important too, especially when you get a bit of rough weather. It's really nice to know that you've got the maximum traction that you can get even in those sort of bubbly conditions. Well, I've got my 579 Crossfire set up just how I like it. I've got that 80 pound bam out electric motor up the front. I've got a uh, front sounder and I've got a sounder GPS mounted here as well. But I've got to tell you some other features that this boat's got that are just fantastic. We've got a rod locker here so you can you can have your rods stored away um, and if, you've, if you're into fishing like I am and you've got a few different techniques that you like to to, uh, to muck around with when it comes to fishing you can have a few different sort of rods set up there. We've got four rod holders around the boat plus another four uh, across the back on what is the most fantastic tackle station ever. So I've got five full-size tackle trays in here, including one jumbo one at the bottom, and then plenty of gear and uh, room in here to put all your gear. Uh, line dispenser on the side for leader, and we can put knives and pliers up the back there, and we've got another little tray to put bits and pieces. Cutting board there, so if you're into cutting pilchards up and trying to burly up a snapper, it's perfectly set up for that. Um, nice comfy seats, so one here for the passenger, another one there for the driver, but another two positions, so even one up at the bow as well. So if you haven't got the cushions in and you haven't got the family members that aren't quite into fishing and just like a day out on the water and those cushions are out, you can always pop that seat up and use it as a casting chair as well. There's actually four batteries on this boat. I've got two cranking batteries at the back. And underneath the floor here, this is really cool how the guys have designed this and pop these two hatches up. And there's my deep cycle batteries, my dual batteries to run that 24 volt electric motor. Uh, the Crossfire uh, has a fuel tank capacity of 118 litres, so you can really cover some ground. So if you're into a big barra trip way up north and you want to fuel up, plenty of room in here, load the swags in and some big eskies and go and do a bit of a camping trip. I've got to tell you, I reckon the Crossfire is going to be an ideal boat for that as well.